Hey everyone, Josh from CaliforniaThroughMyLens.com. Today we're in the ancient bristlecone pine forest hiking to the Discovery Trail. The ancient bristlecone pine forest was set up to protect many of the world's oldest trees. The trees here live in a sparse landscape from around 10,000 to 11,000 feet in the White Mountains. It's not uncommon for these trees to reach ages of up to 4,000 years old. This is my second video on the ancient bristlecone pine forest and you can see the first by clicking in the corner of this video. For this video though, we're focusing specifically on the Discovery Loop Trail. To get to the Discovery Trail, you'll head 45 minutes into the mountains on a windy road from Big Pine. As you get close to the Bristlecone Pine Forest, be sure to stop at the Sierra View Lookout area as it's pretty incredible. We stopped here for sunset as well and it was one of the best sunsets we saw on our road trip. When you get to the visitor center, you have the option of taking two different trails, the longer Methuselah Trail where the oldest tree in the world lives and the shorter Discovery Trail, which is what we did. This is the trail we're heading out on, the one mile Discovery Trail loop. This is the most popular one here. It goes to the Methuselah Grove, which is where the oldest tree in the entire world is. But they don't tell you which one it is. It's just somewhere in there. But with sun going down, we're just going to do the discovery loop today. These pine trees only grow in a few specific areas due to the cold, dry climate. Because of the pandemic in 2020, the visitor center was closed, but you can check this out before going out on the loop trail as well. Starting area for the Methuselah Walk and the Discovery Trail, but we're taking the Discovery Trail. Setting out on the one mile Discovery Loop Trail. If you want to see the Patriarch Grove, we went there as well. And I'll link to that in the description. The trail begins by heading uphill on a series of gradual switchbacks. And while the trail is not too difficult, it does feel harder when you're at this elevation. The information plaque says that this tree was 3,000 years old when it died in 1676. If you haven't been to the park before, this is a great hike to do as the elevation is not too bad, but there's information markers that tell you all about the trees. Plus it's good for sunset, which is what we're doing. And there's nice little benches to relax at if you need them. This trail is a really popular one for families since it's not too long and it lets you see a lot of really unique ancient bristlecone pines. You can see there is some uphill though. So this discovery trail that we're on is where they found the first 4,000 year old tree. There actually ended up being some that were older, but this is where they found the first 4,000 year old one. Also, we learned that the bigger bristle cones are not the oldest. The small stubbier ones that have been weather beaten, those are the oldest. Dang, check out that one. That is super cool. My dad was telling us lots of science facts earlier and he said that one's probably 3,000 years old. <laughs> he, he knows. I remember it when I was a young boy. <laughs> I keep coming back to this trail because of the insane amount of unique trees there are on such a short hike. You can see some of the best gnarled and weathered trees in this section of the grove. So one of the coolest things about these trees is how they kind of wrap and curl. And this is like a perfect example of this. It's crazy. The reason I love coming at this time of the day is the sun flare that you can get when you're taking photos through the trees. So cool. So far that was definitely my favorite of the trees. The trail continues to climb on a series of steps as you get further away from the visitor center and further into the grove. Apparently we're 100 yards away from the end of the elevation. These benches are like beautifully positioned in all the most idyllic spots. So if you just feel like taking a leisurely hike, this is the way to go. Not a bad view. It looks like we're leaving the trees behind and we're going to this more remote area over here, but one of the coolest and most iconic trees is actually in this area.
Me and Pops have made it to the most iconic tree. It's the one on the other side of that one. As you descend the loop trail, you'll get to the most photographed tree in the ancient bristlecone pine forest. That's the iconic tree right there. What do you guys think? Is it the coolest tree you've seen on this trail so far or no? We spent some time just watching the sun go down and hanging out with some of the other photographers that were in the area before making our way back to the car. So after you leave that tree, that's basically it for this trail. The best part was going through that hike up the hill and then going to those trees that everybody takes pictures of. And then it's basically just a walk back to the parking lot. If you want to continue exploring the area, check out my videos on White Mountain and the Patriarch Grove in the description. We made it back to the parking lot as the sun is setting on the hillside. That's it for our time in the Discovery Trail. I'm hiding in the car because it's freezing. Thanks for exploring with us. Get up here and check out the ancient Bristlecone Pine Forest. It's amazing. We'll see you on the next video.